I'd worked for myself for 27 years um, and then after a brief dabble with the public sector I decided I need to become self-employed again and uh, I looked at the franchise route because I wanted to hit the ground running, I wanted a, a proven business model rather than starting something from scratch. When I looked at franchising I looked at um, the level of investment um, and I decided I wanted to just be me and a van um, providing a service. Now those, a lot of those services are things that people can do themselves, so cutting grass or cleaning ovens and it struck me that people couldn't clean their own chimneys properly and so it would be something that would be in demand. I mean when I was self-employed you were on your own um, but as a Wilkins franchisee you're not. You've got the backup in terms of technical advice and office advice and also all the other guys who've done it before you as well. So um, that sort of sense of togetherness, the branding, the whole package really. Well, has the business lived up to my expectations? Um, in most respects, uh, I think that when I first started I didn't realise just how seasonal the business was going to be and, and I was a lot quieter than I expected in the quiet times. But on the other side of the coin I was a lot busier during the, the busy times let's say and, and over the last couple of years the quieter times have got busier and have taken care of themselves. Um, <clears throat> in terms of the, the training, um, we've had a lot of training through the, uh, the franchise um, and that certainly helped. Um, the branding, the whole backup, the back office. Um, when I worked for myself all that time, I didn't get any of that. And so it's, it's having that backup from people, experienced people, not just the, the directors, but all the, the other guys as well that you can call on.